Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. So today we're going to be knocking out some of the rally races, but on the road. Uh, which is why I am stiffening up and lowering this Ford Mustang. This car is quite broken, I think. Um, because... I don't think they upgrade the other cars that you compete against and I've chucked in the upgraded supercharger and yeah this um, this car is quite good uh, on the road with what I've done to it in comparison to the other cars so first up we're going to chuck it into fuel mode 6 and I'm doing this in update 1.2 is it 1.20 or something like that um, where I think they've changed the tyre model um, and the tyre wear is ridiculous and yeah th this car it chews up its tyres now quite quickly so I'd, I'd already done this race, uh, got to halfway through with tyres needing, uh, I required changing tyres, but the, um, I forgot to change them, I just pressed, I thought it was going to auto go to the change tyres, I didn't realise it automatically selected don't change tyres, um, so the car proceeded to not change tyres, not change, uh, not put any fuel in, so it just stopped and started again. I think I had a record stop of like 1.5 seconds. Um, but it wasn't very good for the actual race. My tyres were absolutely worn out. And th this car is it's not very good on the circuits, as you can see. Um, but I think also the fact I had... In my mind, I'd already beaten this race, so I was driving very aggressively and quite poorly here. As you can see, I've still got 10 laps of... I must have changed to zero. Uh, still got 10 laps of fuel, and we've only got 9 more laps to go, less than 9 now, in fuel mode 6. And I'm revving the car out quite hard, so there is a lot of potential um, for this car. It doesn't require fuel and this has something like 800 brake nearly uh, I think it's 788 with the upgraded supercharger and that is fully unrestricted so it did threaten rain but it didn't happen um, I did check the weather radar a couple of times uh, in the opening race and it appeared on the mini map but it didn't come in so I don't know if I got lucky or whether it's just how the race will play out naturally all the time. Um, and I, I made so much better progress uh, than I had done the first time I did it. I think it was just about as I was coming to the pits I overtook this car in the lead, the Audi S1 Quattro. I don't know why this car is so much better than all the other Group B cars um, on the road. But it is so there we go we're not gonna we are gonna change the tires we're not gonna put fuel in um, because it wasn't required and now we have the silly animation just waiting and there we go quite a short pit lane actually and swapping over the tires interesting they've got falcon branding on the tires um, so i think they're partnered with michelin Certainly, Michelin have their own space in like the Brand Central and the uh, like Grand Turismo history stuff that you can look at. Um, and then there, my tyres actually wore out all the way from how aggressive I was driving, and I just couldn't turn um, at the end. So that does show you how bad it is. And again, th this one was awful. Uh, this Mustang, it just killed its tyres so hard at Willow Springs. And it, it was agonising trying to drive this. I, I'd never seen 
entire way of this rampant. Um, so this car is clearly not the way to go for Willow Springs because it will require two pit stops. So I'm actually going to knock out my own Audi Quattro and we're going to change that to racing hard tyres. And then I think I've restricted this for some reason. Um, but yeah, I, I drop the ride height and stiffen it up a little bit. And left the rest the same. The mistake I did make is I only took the gears to 300, which was fine for this one. Um, but it's not good for the last race we did. It was actually topping out um, at the final track. So, Big Willow, you'll see I did a couple of interesting things for this car. So, first of all, chuck it in fuel mode 6, and then I'm going to shift the torque distribution quite heavily to the rear um, in this case. So, this, this was maybe my fourth or fifth attempt. I gave various things with the Mustang a try, but it just couldn't get the tyre wear uh, rear enough bias um, so yeah I, I thought I changed that at the start but I clearly didn't um, maybe on this straight I look to shift that torque distribution down the bottom right I think I ended up on 2080 very nearly going in the gravel uh, on the outside I'm sure I did change it unless I'm being a pleb I thought I'd change that quite a while ago so been very aggressive because again this race it was very winnable in my mind um, I knew I have the pace to win it it's just I don't have the the tyres weren't letting me win uh, maybe that is something I need to learn how to do is not be so aggressive on the tyres. Um, I was convinced that I've, I've changed this by now. I clearly didn't. Maybe I left it for the whole race. Because I didn't even do much with brake bias. I think that was just neutral. Um, so yeah, we're going to slam it up the inside there. Yeah, it was frustrating how slow that these cars were going. Um, and yeah, th this is on the this was on the top difficulty. So I remember the first race; it wasn't actually from where I was doing the Le Mans Cash Cow, um, but so the first race I won very convincingly because. Uh, um, because difficulty was set to lower but then these other two races I made sure to change it um, and I, obviously I did nothing with the with the torque distribution for this car which I'm surprised about oh I'm get, there we go I'm changing brake, brake bias to the rear um, and then I think we are going to bring torque distribution I do wish I had made these gears longer in this car because sometimes turn in felt awkward and it was just tough to get it get the rotation that I wanted you see I'm going to drop all the way down to second Here I'm staying third, just getting understeer. Um, so yeah, I, I do regret leaving the gears as short as I did. Um, I think that is something that I tend I tend to like a car that wants a lot of rotation. Uh, so I'm going to send it. I thought we were going to try and look up the inside of that Mustang. Clearly not. So I I moved the brake bias 
but I thought I'd mucked on a torque distribution as well. Um, I also wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. There we go, I do eventually change it to 2080. I knew I wasn't um, making that up. And then it is getting used to having your brakes all at the back because it can very easily slide out. Um, I think when you do move your brake bias rearwards, you have to be very gentle with your braking, which I'm clearly not, and I'm not gentle on the accelerator either. Um, I think now I'm looking for traction control, because again, this car doesn't really have much grip. Um, I think I do take it back off of two. I don't remember. And it was only like yesterday that I recorded this. Um, but yeah, th this race, as you can see, it's clearly doable. I don't know if I changed it or not. I decided to take to the uh, gravel there to try and go around the outside of these guys. And it is just the Audi in front. The fellow Audi Quattro. And here, I never realised that this car has a double rear wing. Get a very good view of that, and they're branding on both decks of the rear wing, so you clearly know it's an Audi Quattro. Um, I think I was shifting quite early to preserve fuel, but I had more power overall than that one, I think. I don't think there was contact, I just was drifting through the corner. Um, I was really trying to kill my rears as much as I could. Um, and then there, we're going to drop a few positions, ch change tyres again, and don't refuel. And, yeah, you can tell that by... I don't think the other cars are upgraded, and so they don't use as much fuel, but they obviously just are in power mode all the time because they're needing so much fuel to recharge, uh, not uh, so much fuel in the pit stop to get to the end, like they were going from 10% up to like 90 or something, and then this race immediately changed the bias and the other stuff I set already. Traction control, I think I put it on one. Um, or maybe I put it on two, I can't remember. Um, going around the outside of the Peugeot there, following the Genesis. You go around the outside there. This was this was a really fun race actually. At uh, Trial Mountain. So this is probably the one where the fuel is the most wary. And I think I could counteract that with longer gears, as I said. Because um, again, I felt I could go quicker through some of these corners, but I didn't have the rotation to use the gears. Um, right there, it's suggesting that's a third gear corner, but I, I can't get rotation in third gear. And again, I'd rather have been second there for more rotation. Um, so I, I think this one you would have been fine on fuel. I ended up putting it back up to 50% fuel when I pitted but um, I was so involved in what I was doing I forgot to pit at the end of lap 5 not that it made any difference the tyres did last to the end of lap 6 so this car is clearly better on the tyres than the Mustang um, and I think this is a high end turbocharger I fitted as opposed to the supercharger in the Mustang um, the supercharged rally car sounds quite unusual to me nailing it up the inside of both of those and yeah this car is solid for this event you could probably use this one for all of them um, it just so happened that I used the Mustang on the first one and I wasn't aggressive enough on the first stint in that Mustang at Tokyo to destroy my tyres. Um, I think if that had happened both stints, I wouldn't have won that, even on the uh, lower difficulty. Whereas this one is much better on the tyres, and I controlled the tyre wear a lot better. Um, so it is really about controlling your tyre wear with this car, and 
I hope that they... So I think the tyre wear is much more rampant in 1.2 than it was in the previous um, game... Uh, not, it's not mode, the game evolution update. I can't, is it? Right, update 1.19 and before, the tyre wear seemed very good and reasonable to me. It seemed fair. Because um, at Le Mans, you don't see them pitting like every two laps for tyres. Um, but yeah, th this car is better on the tyres and I controlled it better than that Mustang. Um, maybe I could have done done it on the Mustang if I'd controlled it like I did with this one. Uh, but I think this car's better overall from what I experienced. So as I said, at the end of lap 6 I ended up hitting, and we still got quite a lot of tyre life in there um, with what I've done. So I'm going to swap the tyres and put in a bit of fuel as I said. But that is the I think this is the World Rally Championship events. Um, they're all on road racing. And there's not much more to say for this one. Nothing else really happened. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching to the end. Hopefully this has given you a bit of help with these events if you struggled. And hopefully you see you in the next one. Hope you have a great day. Until then, bye for now.